What's up, everybody, and welcome to Match Day 18. But before we do the predictions, we have to talk about it. Messi going to Miami. What a deal for him with Apple subscription, getting a cut of that, Adidas merch, cut of that, you know, future ownership for him. So hopefully we get to see another team come into MLS at some point in time. But I think it's going to be a good thing for the league. I just hope the only thing I have against it is I hope that we don't start to get labeled the retirement league again, because I think we're way past that. I think we deserve more than that. I think MLS is going in the right direction on building youth and everything. So I hope that we don't get that. But other than that, I think this is awesome. I, I can't wait to see him on the field in America it's going to be fantastic. So that's all I have to say about that. Let's jump into our videos for match day 18. First up, we have Atlanta United versus DC United. I will say that Atlanta have not played against LAFC yet. Um, during the recording of this video, I had to do it before that. So that is not going to be in the top, you know, in their last five form. So currently Atlanta United, they are one win, a three draws and a loss and their last five, we don't know what happens with them in LAFC yet. DC United are two wins, uh, two draws, and a loss in their last five. These two teams have never drawn against each other in their 14 meetings. I think that's what it is. In their 14 meetings, never have they drawn. So that's going to be a cool one. I don't think that they draw here either. And I think that Atlanta get the job done at home. At Mercedes-Benz Stadium, they have drawn three in a row before, you know, the LAFC match. And I think that they get the job done at Mercedes-Benz Stadium 2-1 to one over D.C. United. So next up, we have CF Montreal versus Minnesota United. Currently, Montreal are two wins, a draw, and two losses in their last five. Where Minnesota are one win, two draws, two losses in their last five. These teams have played each other three times and Minnesota have won all three of those. The current form for both of these are very inconsistent, and it was a hard one for me. CF Montreal, not that great at home, in my opinion, and Minnesota are pretty good away. So I have to go with the away win here. I think that Minnesota United uh, beat CF Montreal one to nothing. Moving on, we have Charlotte FC versus Seattle Sounders. Currently, Charlotte are one win and four losses in their last five, where Seattle Sounders are one win, a draw, and three losses in their last five. Both teams very shaky right now, and I it, it was hard for me to pick this game, and it ended up that I'm just going to go with a draw on this one. I think, though, we see four goals, and I think it ends in a 2-2 two -two draw there at Bank of America Stadium. So that takes us to New England Revs against Inner Miami. Currently, the Revs are three draws and two losses in their last five matches. So going from one of the hottest teams in MLS to not such good form. And for Inner Miami, one win and four losses in their last five. And with Inner Miami going on the road, I don't think that they're a very good road team. And I think the Revs need some kind of spark, and this is going to be it. I think the Revs win at home 2 to nothing over Inter-Miami. So that takes us to Orlando City versus Colorado Rapids. Currently, Orlando City are two wins and three draws in their last five matches. Colorado Rapids, a draw and four losses in their last five matches. Colorado are doing awful, in my opinion, and I would like to see them turn around. I don't like seeing them, you know, there at the bottom of the table. It's not that I really like Colorado, but I don't hate Colorado. I like to see them do well. And then Orlando City, they're doing okay. I think they're in eighth place in the East, and I think, though, they get the job done at Explorer Stadium, and I think that they beat Colorado Rapid 3-1. to one. So next up, we have Toronto FC versus Nashville SC. Currently, Toronto are one win, three draws, and a loss in their last five, where Nashville are four wins and a loss in their last five. I think this is going to be a better matchup than what we think, and I don't think that it's going to be very high scoring. I think that there's only going to be one goal in this match. 
These two teams have played each other six times, and it's 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. The last time that they played, it was in Nashville, and it was a draw, 0-0. Zero, zero. And then before that, they played in Nashville again, and Toronto won that match 4-3. to three. I don't think there's going to be that many goals. And I, like I said, I think there's going to be one goal. And I think that Nashville get it done away against Toronto, and I think they win that game one to nothing. So next up, we have Chicago Fire versus Columbus Crew. Chicago are currently one win, two draws, two losses in their last five, and Columbus Crew are two wins and three losses in their last five. Columbus is getting back to their winning ways where, yes, they played against two very good sides in MLS between Nashville and FC Cincinnati and those two losses, and then they did lose in that U.S. Open Cup to the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. I'll stop I'll stop with that because they did uh, lose pretty bad against Cincinnati, but uh, they had a good run. Anyway, that's beside the fact this is MLS predictions. So Chicago Fire not looking too good in their game for U.S. Open Cup, getting beat by Houston 4-1 to at home. And I think that they get beat at home again here. I think Columbus Crew come in and win this match 3-2 to two over Chicago Fire. So if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content. And if you made it this far, tell me down below what your thoughts are on Messi coming into MLS and enter Miami. Do you wish that he went somewhere else? Do you think it's a good thing, a bad thing? Please tell me down below in the comments section. So that leads us into Houston Dynamo versus LAFC. Currently, Houston are three wins and two losses in their last five. And again, LAFC's, this is going to be before the Atlanta game on Wednesday night, so that is not in this prediction. And they are currently on a uh, one win, one draw, and three losses in their last five. Now, two of those were to Lyon out of Liga MX in the you, you know the Concacaf there, Concacaf Champions League. LA are going to get back on their winning streak. They're I mean not winning streak, but they're winning ways. I think that I think that they go into Houston, even though Houston's coming off that four to one victory against Chicago in U.S. Open Cup. I think LAFC come in. It's going to be a close one but I think that they win 2-1 to one over Houston Dynamo. Now, moving on, we have Sporting Kansas City versus Austin FC. I think this is going to be a good matchup to watch. I might have to tune into this one after our live stream, whatever that is, or if it's before. I can't remember if we did any of the late games. Also, if you have not voted, that is still up, and it will be up until Friday evening. So go vote on which match you want to see there on Saturday. So currently, Sporting Kansas City are two wins, two draws, and a loss in their last five, where Austin are two wins and three losses in their last five. These two teams have played each other five times. Austin has won it three. Sporting Kansas City have won it once, and they have drawn once. The last time that they played was in Austin, and Austin won four to three. I don't know what's going on with Austin. They lost their last game against a good road team, Real Salt Lake where Sporting Kansas City drew with the Whitecaps 1-1. One one. I, I think this is one of my gut predictions in this video, and I think that Austin goes on the road here, and I think that they get the W. I think that they win this match 2-1 to one over Sporting Kansas City. Now we have Real Salt Lake versus NYCFC. Currently, Real Salt Lake are three wins, a draw, and a loss in their last five, where NYCFC are two draws, and three losses in their last five matchups. These two teams have only played each other six times, Real Salt Lake winning four of them, NYCFC only winning two. Both of these teams are lower in the table. Real Salt Lake are in the playoffs, though. They're in the West in that ninth position, where NYCFC are currently 13th there in the East. This is going to be a good matchup. Real Salt Lake's not that great at home, and I think that NYCFC can go in and walk away with a point. I think that this game ends up in a one-to-one -one draw. Another matchup that I am I might have to tune in for is San Jose Earthquake versus Philadelphia Union. Currently, San Jose are kind of rocky, kind of in, inconsistent right now with one win, two draws, two losses in their last five, where Philadelphia Union are four wins and a draw in their last five. The last time that these two teams played, Philadelphia won two to nothing. That was back in March of 2022, and they were at Subaru Park. San Jose is getting Cade back. 
Cade Cow. They are getting Cade Cow back. I, I don't know why it took me so long to get his name out. He's coming back from the U20s, and I think if he gets stuck right into the lineup, I think that's going to help them. But I don't think they get the win at home. I, I And I don't think also that Philadelphia get a win here either. I think this is, ends up in a draw, but I think that we see four goals like one of the other draws earlier in the video, and I think it is a 2-2 two two draw there in San Jose. So next up, we have Vancouver Whitecaps versus the hottest team in MLS and in the U.S. That is FC Cincinnati. Uh, unbelievable what they are doing right now. Currently, though, Vancouver Whitecaps are three wins, a draw, and a loss in their last five, where in, their la in Cincinnati's last five, they have won all five of them. These two teams, though, have played against each other twice. Vancouver Whitecaps have won it once, and they have drawn once. The last time that they played, it was in Cincinnati back in July of 2022, and it was a 2-2 draw. Don't think that's happening here. I think that FC Cincinnati get their win. I think they are definitely the better side than Vancouver, even though that they Cincinnati have been playing very consistently, you know, two games a week the last couple weeks, I believe. And I think that they get the job done 3-1 to one over the Whitecaps. So that takes us to our second-to-last match of the weekend, and it is St. Louis City versus LA Galaxy. Currently, St. Louis City are three wins and two losses in their last five, where LA Galaxy are two wins and three losses in their last five. St. Louis City are currently on a three-game winning streak, and LAFC kind of looking like they might be getting back on track. I doubt it, though, and they're definitely not doing it here. I think St. Louis at home is just too good. I, I've, I've talked about their fans over and over again. They show up, and they show out. And I actually think that St. Louis get the job done three to nothing over the LA Galaxy. Last but not least, we have Portland Timbers versus FC Dallas. Currently, the Timbers are one win, two draws, two losses in their last five, where FC Dallas are one win, two draws, and two losses in their last five. Dallas are currently on a two-game losing streak. I can't believe that, to be honest. And the last time that these two teams played, they did play in Portland. I mean, excuse me, they did play in Dallas, and it ended up in a one-to-one -one draw. These two teams have played each other a bunch of times. I think that's 32 times, so they know each other very well. But I think that I think that FC Dallas go on the road and get the job done. They're currently on a two-game losing streak. They, they need something, and this would be a kind of a big win to go into Providence Park and and turn it around and get a little bit of momentum. I mean, currently Dallas are sitting in fourth in the West where Portland are sitting 11th. But I think that FC Dallas go on the road, get it done one to nothing there at Providence Park. And also to add to that, LAFC and Houston Dynamo will be playing the following Wednesday on June 14th. That is a makeup game. And I did predict in a video during that week, I can't remember what match day that was, I predicted LAFC to win two to nothing over Houston Dynamo, and I think I'm going to stick with that. That's what we had back then. I think that LAFC are still the better side, and I think they get the job done at home. So that is all for the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the content, and we will see you Saturday for the live stream.